surprised that the Timbers are going to be starting their play already. It's it just early. It yeah. always sneaks up on you. Every year you're like, wait, the Timbers are playing now? Already? Wait, yeah. training camp is happening now? Soccer is a sport that is, is just crazy because there's not a lot of layoff time. I mean, they were done in October. Yeah. And they're yeah. back at it. They're back at it. Yeah. And we'll be there. Yes. Yeah. Right. Well, our, we know fans are excited. They yes. just need to know how to dress. And that includes our director, Karen, yeah. who is a hardcore Timbers fan. She's going to be there this Sunday. I night. know. Karen's been asking me, along with many other Timbers fans, dress a way to stay dry. This is good for me to know, as I will be there be as well. covering it. <laughs> yes. So, uh, thank you, Josh, for helping me out. Uh, you're welcome. Uh, on the bright side, though, temperatures are going to be on the comfortable side, upper 50s, but it will also be matched with wind. So, when you're wet and it's windy, uh, that 58 degrees by about 2 o'clock in the afternoon might just feel a little bit cooler out there as we take a live look out over downtown Portland on this Friday evening. Congrats. You made it through another work week as we sit at 53 degrees. A few light rain showers slowly starting to make their way through our area as our temperatures have fallen back into the low 50s for much of the Portland Vancouver area, but almost touching 60 degrees at this point in time out towards Astoria as those cooler temperatures once again return. Our rain gauges, yeah, they still remain dry for this point in time, but what weather does ramp up later this evening will take us through the rest of the weekend where zeros will be something maybe some of us are wishing for as February has brought us just over an inch and a half of moisture that gives us a rain deficit of over an inch and a tenth. I think we will completely wash that away by the end of the weekend and reverse it, giving ourselves a surplus in the wet weather department as those rain showers continue to track their way through our area. Again, a lot of it through the Willamette Valley and even some of our coastal spots not actually seeing those raindrops come to fruition or make their way to the surface just yet. So that will be changing as we work our way through the rest of this evening as temperatures stabilize in towards the upper 40s. All because of this atmospheric river already throwing just a little bit of moisture our way, but more of the wet weather is in store. Either you call it an atmospheric river or the Pineapple Express, which the Pineapple Express leads into the potential for some warmer, more tropical-like air as our temperatures are expected to warm. As a ridge of high pressure is keeping us mild right now, a very shallow trough starts to take shape by the time we work our way into Monday, Tuesday, dropping our temperatures just by a couple of degrees. But watch this ridge of high pressure continues to build as our skies dry out. By the time we get to Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, the spring like vibes will be widespread as we anticipate our temperatures to still be comfortable this weekend into the upper 50s. I anticipate by Wednesday 62 degrees will be a welcome sight as our snow elevation level retreats back up to about six, seven thousand feet. Again, that's that tro tropical part of the Pineapple Express that we kind of lean into. So likely going to be melting some of our base layer that has been building over the past couple of weeks because of all of the snowfall we've seen over the Cascades, but our future cast does show a few light rain showers tonight. Tomorrow for the start of the day, mostly dry. It's not until the afternoon hours that we start to see the rain become a little bit more widespread, persistent. Just look at all of these yellows, oranges and reds. The best indication where the heaviest of the downpours are expected to fall. This is a snapshot of about 2 a.m. on Sunday that carries over into the morning hours. A few dry moments throughout the day. Sunday, others will be seeing those soaking rains. But regardless, Saturday, Sunday and Monday, it will be breezy out there as these impressive totals really start to add up close to two inches for the Portland, Vancouver area. By the end of the events come Monday and Tuesday, some of our coastal spots could see close to four inches of rain. That's why the National Weather Service has that flood watch in effect from Sunday to Tuesday as runoff continues. Won't be surprised if that trickles its way further to the south over the next 24 hours. Tonight, just a few light rain showers falling to about 46 degrees. Tomorrow, we start the day off drier than what you might expect, but we get close to 60 degrees. The rain, the wind, it kicks up after the lunchtime hour. That will carry over through the overnight hour Saturday into Sunday. Monday, rinse and repeat scenario. Tuesday, though, that's where we slowly start to dry things out. But look at Wednesday. Sunshine highs in the low 60s. That carries over through the end of the week, giving us all a bit of spring fever. Yeah, that looks pretty good, uh, especially with the temperatures rising somewhat. That's nice. We just got to get through the next few wet and windy days, and then we're golden. All right, sounds good. Thanks, Josh. Yeah. We're back with your political minute after this.